I decided to do something different over here. Now that I'm in Hoi An, I will take a walk around the old town. You will get to see the beautiful old things. And at the same time, I will share facts on how am I going to push my limits during this trip. Stay tuned. Fact number one, I'm traveling on budget. So my per day limit is only $20. And in Vietnam, you can travel really, really well with $20 per day. Fact number two, fancy places. Even if I'm traveling on budget, I will not compromise on the places I'm staying at. So throughout my trip, I'll be staying in tents, dorms, hotel, uh, fancy high-tech pods, homestay, couch surfing, every single night I'll experience a different kind of stay. Fact number three, no touristic places. Now this town is, the whole town itself is touristic, so I cannot avoid that. But throughout my trip, I'll try to avoid all kind of touristic places. My aim during this trip is to have as much local experience as I can uh, having conversations with locals, meeting new people, knowing the local culture, all those things are my priority. Seeing beautiful places, uh, going to touristic places is not priority for me at all and I don't regret. Fact number four, fancy cafes. As much as Vietnam is famous for its coffee, it's also famous for its fancy different kind of cafes. And I am so much obsessed by these places. So throughout my trip, in different cities, I'll be going to different cafes, uh, just chilling there, working there, or having a nice coffee time. Fact number five, no driving license. I'm traveling throughout the country on a motorbike, but I do not have any Vietnamese driving license. So cops pull me over then it can be a huge trouble or I may pay I may have to pay a huge amount of bribe fact number six I do not know any Vietnamese words it is I know it is embarrassing for a person who has been living in Vietnam since one and a half year but I do not I cannot communicate to people who can only speak Vietnamese and the same goes for the pe local people over here they cannot speak any English. And that's where it creates beautiful stories on how we use sign language and human language to communicate and get the things done. Fact number seven. So throughout my trip, I am going to do a few stupid things that may put me in a lot of trouble. And through that, I'll test my belief in Vietnamese people and this country. The only thing I will take care of is I will not be careless and I will not die. Apart from that, I'm up for anything. So, either way, is, if I come out alive, then I'll have a lot of stories to tell. Talking about troubles, pack number eight. Uh, the days I've chosen for my journey, they are not one of the most comfortable days over here. The weather you see behind me, today is one of the most sunny days I've, I've encountered on my trip so far. All of the days were rainy days, and on most of those days, it was a thunderstorm. I have chosen to complete most of my journey on highway number one, which is hated by most of the people and not recommended at all because of the very aggressive trucks. So the motorbike I was using on my trip, it may look very strong and big and powerful, but to be honest, that motorbike is, it has got one of the weakest engine. Uh, and it's very old. It's about 15 to 16 years old. And uh, one should not 
be using this kind of motorbike if they are sane. There is a very very high chance of it breaking down if I run it continuously for 150 kilometers. So I need to be very careful and I need to take frequent rest not for me but for the motorbike so if the motorbike breaks down in the mid in between somewhere then i need to wait at least for one to two days because the parts are not available everywhere except the big cities so i need to wait for it to get imported from da nang ho chi minh city or hanoi if i wanted to travel safe enough then i might have gone for the usual Honda Win motorbike that has got very very strong engine and also very strong uh, gearbox. The parts for this kind of motorbike is available everywhere in every village because every backpacker uses this motorbike. But I chose to go with this motorbike. It's called SYM Husky because troubles. I love to be in troubles. If you want to know in detail about fact number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, any of it on how I book cheap places or how I book fancy places or what are the best cafes to visit in which city, all those things, just let me know in the comments below, okay? And I'll make a separate video for them. See you later. Are you still here? Okay, let me give you a quick and fun fact. If you think that you need all the bikers accessories to go around on this kind of trip, then maybe you should think about it again. Because I didn't wear any shoes, but I used flip-flops to go around on these 2,400 kilometers.